So uh, back to some boiler servicing. I've been looking after the boilers here for uh, many, many years. And they originally had a WB2B boiler installed here by uh, some German installers came over from Germany. Uh, this is a Hof house, I think that's correct anyway. Um, all underfloor heating in the whole building. And a WB2B um, boiler originally. That was installed with that circulation pump down to two, uh, three manifolds in the house for underfloor heating with room stats and it was on weather comp. But the boiler just, it just had failure after failure after failure uh, due to water quality issues. Uh, the water actually in the system was completely clean but the boiler just kept clogging up and clogging up and clogging up and breaking down and pumps were going, valves were going, leaks here, leaks there, uh, just a regular disaster. In the end the the customer had had enough, wanted a new boiler and I talked to them about plate separation being the cure for water quality issues that we can't cure um, through flushing and cleaning or don't appear to be able to and we went for twin plate installation here the main reason for the twin plate is that this is delta t7 on the underfloor heating delta t20 on the boiler and so there'd be a, a, a big mismatch on flow rates i suspect um, although i didn't do heat loss calculations um, went on a, on a level of assumptions so we've gone for two plates uh, make sure we've got low low head loss through the two plates and really really low uh, log mean temperature difference across the system I can't remember what the results were but I remember they were very low at the time and anyway uh, back on the return visit here just recently I've been back to service a few of these and found a couple of them were really dirty on the boiler side and still looking very clean on the system side um, but now well, this is the third one I think I've been to where the boilers the boiler water's clean as a sample of a boiler water. There's a little tiny bit of discoloration, but nothing major going on there. Um, certainly no problems. I've just given the rubber hose at the back a little tweak. It's soft and pliable and lovely, nothing to clean out. Um, so there's nothing coming back from the system into the boiler and uh, the boiler's running fine. Uh, customers just commented on the fact that they've not had a single issue since a new boiler was installed and was giving me praise as the installer and um, and uh, you know, basically I pointed out that the plate separation was really the, the magic ingredient for a trouble-free bo boiler on this system. So again, um, just a quick video to update everybody. Uh, I'm going to upload this to my YouTube channel. So if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you very much.